Hi, welcome to uh, another episode of playing around with 18650 battery cells and do-it-yourself power wall. Today I'm going to talk to you about e-bike batteries because they are a really good source for finding 18650 cells. Most of you are using the batteries from uh, laptops and when you are lucky you find six to nine uh, good cells in that pack. When you find a battery pack with 18650 cells from an e-bike you probably get 38 to 40 cells. Another advantage is that most of the cells when they come out of the battery then uh, they are good quality and they are also already fairly clean. So there's not a lot of work to get them ready for uh, testing the capacity in your testers. I'm going to show you five uh, battery models today, explain you how they look like and uh, what they uh, have inside. Because not all uh, e-bike batteries are good. Some have pouch cells, others have 18650. So at least for five models you will know if you have to get them from the recyclers or from the dealership with the e-bikes or just leave them over there. This pack is from a Sparta Eon. It's a Dutch bike. So uh, Holland, um, Germany, Belgium, England, you will find these bikes for sure. I think they also export to the United States, but uh, I think it will be harder to find them over there. So, this is the complete battery pack from that bike. It's completely black. On the side there's nothing. In the back we have two rail uh, sliders. On the other side you have an input connection. In the back we have the terminal for the bike connection. On the opposite side we have the LCDs over here which are not working anymore and a handlebar so you can take it. If you see a battery like this you will be uh, you will be joyed. You take it take it with you. You come home. You open it, and there will be a big disappointment because this pack uh, is filled of filled of uh, filled with pouch packs. So that means um, these are lithium polymer packs which are inside, and not the 18650 cells that we want to find. So if you come across one of these, just leave them over there and go looking for other packs. So this is from a Sparta Eon, a Koga Miata with uh, the old Eon system, so not with the Bosch uh, engines. So this one is a no-go. This battery is again uh, from an e-bike. It's from the Peugeot Filion. Peugeot is a French company who's making, of course, cars, but also bikes. Um, these Peugeot uh, bikes are sold uh, in France, of course, in Belgium, Germany, the UK, in Holland. Uh, I'm not sure if they go overseas, uh, but when you're living in Europe, you have a chance uh, to come across one of these. In the back there are no connections. The only thing which is prominent is the sliding mechanism to put it on the bike. As you can see it's rather uh, coming out so it's easy to spot. On this side there's nothing. At the upper side also nothing except what's um, 
something at, that this battery stands out from the other ones is that it has two rounded edges. Most of them have a flat one and rounded. So if you see two rounded edges and the sliding mechanism in the back, you know it's from a Peugeot Filion. At this side we also have a connector for um, the charger. Here we have a grip you can use to uh, hold the battery and at this side we have um, the LEDs which uh, in this case are not working anymore. There's also a little button. On the other side you have something like a grip again and here the connection uh, which will make the electronic connection to the bike. If you see this Peugeot Filion at uh, the bike store or the recycle center I would advise you do not take it with you again this is um, not packed with 18650 cells but with the pouch cells which we cannot use for our purposes. So don't take it with you, uh, leave it there to be recycled. This is um, a battery from a giant twist double. These batteries they come in packs of two normally. Um, on the bike rack you will have one at the left and one at the right. So when you find them it's possible that you will find uh, both of them, the left and the right sides. This battery is lithium ion. I already say to you uh, when you see this thumbs up, this one is a good one. It has 18650 cells in it. It's uh, a pack which has uh, original uh, 26 volts and 9 amp hours it has the Sanyo cells inside. So, in the front you see the Giant logo. When you see Giant, take them with you. Normally Giant uh, uses the 18650 cells in all their batteries. So, lithium ion battery. On the side you have the mechanism to slide on the bike. Also on this side in the back there's nothing special except for some uh, stickers to warn you this is lithium ion. On this side you have the connector which goes into the bike. On the other side you have a handlebar which you can open and close again. So this is how you connect oh sorry this is how you uh, recognize the giant uh, battery for a twist double. Giant is a brand which is sold uh, in Europe, in uh, the United States. Uh, I'm not sure about uh, other continents, but this is one uh, that more people will be able to find. I will show you also how to open these without uh, any problems. As with the previous battery, which was also a giant battery, this is also a giant, um, take it with you, there will be 18650 cells inside. Probably also Sony's, uh, sorry, Sanio, but um, they will give you around uh, 2200 uh, milliamp hours per cell. When you look at this battery, on the top side you see the on off button, you see uh, the LEDs to show how much uh, energy is still, still stored in this battery. Uh, you have some kind of grip here. On the side there's nothing. On the other side there's also nothing. On the bottom side you see two metal plates which are used to slide it on the bike. So also with the specification it's a 36 volt 
10 amp hours, 360 uh, watt hours. So this handle grip um, is at the end because this is the tail light, uh, also the reflector and the light. On the other side we have the big connector for uh, attaching to the bike and here we have a connector to charge it. So this is a winner, you can use it. Um, I'll also show you how to open one of these. This e-bike battery is from Gazelle. Gazelle is another Dutch uh, bike. They produce the energy um, electric bikes and this is an energy gold battery. They have three types of battery. Uh, the gold, the silver and the bronze. Uh, the bronze is the one with the cells which have the least capacity. The gold are of course the cells inside with the biggest capacity. So the gold is really the one you're after. But when I come across one of these, uh, if it's bronze, silver or gold, I'll take them all. Because the cells inside most of the time are very good. They're not the biggest capacity, but uh, they'll certainly work for what we are going to do. So, the top side, you see the metal casing, a little uh, plastic back end, and another bigger plastic uh, end at this side. What's um, most prominent to these uh, batteries is that there's a rubber strip here and here. So here's the logo Gazelle, the rubber strip here, the rubber strip there, and you know you're good. On this side, there's the sliding mechanism, the same on the other side, except over here we also have a connection for uh, charging the battery. On the lower side, there's nothing really there except for some kind of handle grip. Over here we have the light, the reflector and the on-off button. I'm not sure if yes, these lights are still working, so that's also a good sign. Then on this side we have the connector uh, to connect this battery to the bike. Um, so this is how you can recognize this battery. The Gazelle Energy is, uh, has great cells inside, uh, but it's really a pain to get them out. But don't worry, I'll show you step by step how you can do it and uh, how to get the good cells out of the battery. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was uh, an overview of some batteries. Uh, the three batteries which had uh, 8650 cells inside. Uh, these ones I'm going to open uh, for you on camera just to show you how you can get them out easily um, and that will be in the next episodes. If you enjoyed this video please uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much, see you next time. Bye!